US, Canada, Switzerland ak Adina Wengal Kep ak suñu yone kay xaliss bu maga bi nga xamne dafa wor gaaw te nopalé fi ci bir Gambie. Su ba sonex money transfer ñu ngi ci ñett fuk ak ñent de ka ci bir Africa ngir jox leen melowaay yu gën ci jottum xaliss bi nga xamne kenn du ko lamlamé. Saytu leen ñu ci Google Play Store wala App Store ngir mëna bind ci suñu app bi di su sonex money transfer app da ngeen mëna banexu ci suñu money transfer services yi. I'm back to Rekla at Supersonics. Corona is a day. I'm not going to go. 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 I'm not going wafu yi sante mati wara nu kan an yelati a moko mbungol nga pikireti coronavirus pikireti coronavirus kan kan wanu majje amu sala majje ndugo ba ci ni sone u ñen dip a di ci gaba wo nu pour mu ñoo nga pikireti coronavirus amu sala ñoo ko ñoo ka nga re bengu ñu pour mbe jay nga re pikireti coronavirus hello hello this is gamin talent stevie identity card wo nu pour mu ñoo nga am pikireti coronavirus kan tu mati wo nu yi sen kayit ka fi kay yi sen mati aw an yelati mo fam mungol du ba ama ma kayta fikire ci corona virus corona yi dare ana sala jogoro nanu badi ama ci ministeri nga un ñen de ci gaba pour ngol lu pour mëna jonga fikire ci corona virus ba do kantu mati a wu kantu ja añi la ci mopam mati ama e suka yi da ngam bi la ci ngol nga fikire ci corona virus corona yi corona yi corona virus mo ta bala li fati yo mo ci ñay yo موسیقی stability and peace for the advancement of our country, the Gambia. Fellow Gambians in the Gambia and the diaspora, I have the honor, privilege, and pleasure to send you this present message with my warmest greetings in my capacity as senior citizen of the Gambia, as your former vice president, as co-chairperson of Coalition 2016, as a peace mediator and human rights defender. This peace message is drawn from my religious obligation combined with my responsibility as senior citizen and commitment to promote the preservation of our national heritage for democracy, unity, stability, and peace for the advancement of our country, the Gambia. It is important to recognize that this heritage is born from the solid foundation for democracy, peace, and social cohesion that was built by our visionary forefathers for the advancement of our country. Fellow Gambians, this heritage must remain our guiding principle to safeguard our country, unity in unity, freedom, and peace, because in the absence of these values, we cannot advance our country. Fellow Gambians, 
as we recently conclude the unprecedented, most contested presidential nominations of 26 presidential candidates. And at the dawn of the presidential election, electoral campaign, it is important that I humbly call you to preserve our national heritage of unity, peace, stability for the paramount advancement of our country, the Gambia. It is therefore your responsibility to serve as ambassadors and be national pride by holding the national heritage, which is the bedrock of our national anthem, calling us to live in unity, freedom, and peace each day as a nation and as a country. Fellow Gambians, this is what we all collectively fought for and won victoriously on the 1st of December against 22 years of brutal regime and bad governance. Fellow Gambians, in upholding your ambassador, ambassadorship, I would encourage you to be the change you want your country to be by respecting our constitutional, legal, and democratic values, as well as our cohesive social fabric during the highly tense, particularly during the highly tensely, uh, tensed presidential campaign and ensuing presidential election. Avoid politics to destroy our social fabric because we have had destiny. Fellow Gambians, we, would, we need to protect our heritage by also avoiding ethnic-based hate speech, fake news, and political violence. You must also bear in mind that the absence of these values, we would not, uh, would, sorry, you must also bear in mind that the absence of these values would have negative consequences on the region and the world at large because we all share the common goal of making the world a better place. Fellow Gambians, it is indeed a great honor and privilege for me to remind you that in discharging your good citizenship and responsibility, you need to protect your national heritage of unity, peace and stability for the paramount advancement and protection of the globally respected Im good image of our country. You must also nurture the emerging democratic environment which we fought for under the auspices of Coalition 2016 against 22-year brutal autocratic rule. Such a stance will help us to achieve the common goal of never again through national reconciliation, unity, peace, and stability in the paramount interest of advancing our country. This shows our commitment to protect our peaceful coexistence and to move our country in the democratic, just, and prosperous path we want. At this juncture, history obliges me to pay tribute to Coalition 2016 for their exceptional courage and sacrifice in engineering the democratic and peaceful change for the paramount interest of building a solid foundation for good governance, social cohesion, sustainable peace, and shared prosperity. I also pay tribute to all the professional organizations, individuals, and friends of the Gambia who bravely supported the cause of the change. Fellow Gambians, I also have, it's also human and professional for me to seize this opportunity to ask you all, wherever you are, in the Gambia and in the diaspora, to give a minute of silent prayer 
for all those who suffered, migrated to foreign lands and lost their lives for the sake of protecting their country from autocratic rule. Fellow Gambians, in exercising your constitutional and political rights to campaign, you need to vote for the presidential campaign in a matured and peaceful manner. It is important that you base your, these principles and values of political integrity and democratic governance, respect for the rule of law, respect for people's and human rights, and also equal development opportunities for all. These are the basic foundation of our country. Please vote peacefully, massively, and vote for the, uh, for the leader of your choice. Fellow Gambians, in observing your democratic and peaceful presidential election, you need to exercise tolerance, contribute constitutional right to vote peacefully and massively, as I had indicated before. And this we need to observe within the principles of not only the constitution, our legal rights, but also the peace accord that was recently signed by the inter-party uh, political, inter political committee. Fellow Gambians, in observing these values, it is crucial to protect your votes peacefully by being alert to the entire voting process in order to ensure a free and transparent and fair elections. Please return peacefully to your families after voting to listen to the results and respect the results which are going to be announced by the IEC in concert with our international observers. At this juncture, I wish to commend the Independent Electoral Commission under the able leadership of Honorable Alaji Momarnjai for their success in creating an enabling environment for the unprecedented and peaceful nominations of 26 candidates for the December 4th elections, 2021 elections, on the very constraining electoral act decreed by the outgoing autocratic regime. I also commend the 26 presidential aspirants and their diverse militants for contributing to the peaceful presidential nominations and celebrations processes, which took place from the 30th October to 4th November, 2021. These aspirants deserve commendation because they all share the common goal and commitment to serve our country. Fellow Gambians, I also deem it important to acknowledge the significant contributions of the security forces by maintaining peaceful and orderly nominations and celebration processes under enormous pressure. In the same vein, I thank the media fraternity for its exceptional performance in covering and disseminating the nomination and celebration processes, as well as peaceful, providing peaceful engagements with political parties to highlight their agenda. In concluding my peace message, I wish to encourage you to pledge to serve as ambassadors for democracy and our national heritage, for peace, unity, and solidarity by remaining law abiding and being the envy of the African region of our country and the African region as well as the world at large. Fellow Gambians, it is therefore incumbent on you to respect the spirit of the letter of our national anthem, which calls for our collective firm allegiance, pledge and promise to strive, work and pray so that we all may live in unity, freedom, and peace each day, as well as for God to keep us in this country, great land of Gambia. 
Fellow Gambians, it is equally important to appreciate the peace, stability, and progress in our country because it will contribute to the peace, stability, and progress of our African region and the world at large. This is because we share a common goal for making and living in a democratic, just, peaceful, and prosperous global community. Fellow Gambians, on this note, I thank the entire media fraternity again for attending this present conference in Paramount, which is solely in the interest of spreading peace message, peace, solidarity for the Gambia, particularly during this presidential campaign and of course the ensuing presidential election. I will now thank Allah for providing us the day, giving us the opportunity to witness this great day. And I pray that Allah, the Almighty and the Compassionate blesses the listeners, the readers and the communicators of this peace message by winning their hearts and minds as well as making them ambassadors of peace in the paramount interest of our country and by extension, Africa and the world at large. Uh, thank you very much. God bless you. God bless Gambia. God bless uh, Africa and God bless the world at large. Thank you so much. So if you have any questions to ask, I'll be more than willing to answer them. Um, change is a process. It is not a one-time thing. We have got uh, a milestone, we've achieved a milestone as a nation uh, from December 1st, 2016, by um, ending a 22-year autocratic rule and ushering a democratic rule. And uh, this has provided a lot of uh, democratic dividends by way of you coming here, attending this freely, engaging me as an individual without having to look at your back, watching your back. Uh, we have had also the creation of lots of opportunities for young people, for women, in terms of programs in entrepreneurship. Uh, we have seen an enlarging uh, um, opportunity for, for education, for wealth. Uh, we have seen also economic stability in our country. Uh, when the country uh, uh, ushered democratic rule, there was only one month income cover. And today we are 6% growth in the economy. We have macroeconomic stability. And according to international reports of the World Bank and IMF, Gambia is on the right track. Uh, fundamentally, we have seen that the rule of law, the system of uh, governance in terms of the judiciary, the legal system is working. We can make a lot, we can make lots of examples where in the past, comparatively in the past, where it was the executive that was the judiciary and the legislature. Today we have the independence of the three arms of government, the four um, three arms of government and the fourth estate. The media fraternity is the fourth estate. Uh, so we see this, and we are also seeing increasingly investment uh, in the country. Um, you also have free movement of goods and services. Uh, we have become, uh, we have seen uh, the country being a signatory to major um, legal rights instruments. We have the National Commission here for Peoples and Human Rights. 
We have also the Center for Democracy and Human Rights. So you see there is an emerging democratic uh, environment which really uh, indicates that Gambia is in the right path. And also that we realistically, we should also look at the agricultural sector. The agricultural sector, we're going to have a bomber se season. And uh, there is hope that uh, farmers can sell their groundnuts instead of across the border, but also uh, within the Gambia. Uh, you look at the COVID, the, the COVID uh, pandemic, which uh, uh, unfortunately happened uh, two years back, the way it is managed, you cannot have a perfect system. There is no one can, who can have a perfect system, perfect institution. But uh, right now we have about seven to about 17% uh, coverage of vaccination. Um, the media is working. There is a lot of communication. The communities are being engaged in, in participation. So these are really uh, very uh, promising. There is hope for, for Gambia to move uh, ahead. Um, my final among these um, six candidates that are nominated already, uh, in case you know one of them, if you are going to endorse, uh, who are you going to endorse? Uh, any of these well, uh, I am not, I'm standing on a national platform as a mediator. And if I so would accept, uh, consider that I'm, I'm seen as a mother of the nation. So I, I don't think it is right for me to endorse any one of any one candidate. As a mother, you have to be balanced and you have to be on a platform where everybody can have access to you in terms of ensuring that at the end of the day, we have free and fair elections and that the results be accepted. So what I can do, um, not only as a mother, as a senior citizen, is to wish all of them success, all of them success. And also, to, of course, to add a prayer that God gives us the best person to be able to lead this nation peacefully, democratically, uh, with providing also opportunities uh, for the populations, particularly looking at the critical areas that need to be improved in terms of uh, uh, employment, jobs, in terms of private sector investment, and also in terms of uh, education, quality education. Yes. Yes. Man suma responsibility, moy legal suma reu. Te soy legal sa reu, donu ne danga wara neka ki political party. Man suma suma janga, ak suma XP bima amte. E muna legal suma bopa, ma japa le suma reu, muna legal bienen botai, ma japa reu, muna legal ak gouvernama bi, ma muna japa le suma reu. Man, kuma ham, dina ham ne man, niko ham ne la, lima sohla, lima y said, moy sunyu democratic values, sunyu political maturity, ak integrity, ak kinga ham ne mo muna yobu sunyu reumi, suma oe pur ma ligi ak mom, dina ligi ak mom, suma gise ne borom nak munu da yobu reumi, ak munu da fi aspiration reumi duko muna yore, Muna talk better legal suma bopa wala ma legal benen botai ma japale suma reu. Kuma mundi neka di na japale. Mandu ma musa hamga sufeke ne amulo amulo ham ham bituti amulo experience bi chinga muna taha uchi fence bi ne neka farafenye kunyo uranga andang mom. Wandi sufeke ne yala dimbalena la 
amga sa ham ham amga sa experience amga sa ragal yalla te yange se values nga xamne good governance transparency accountability ño xamne dinay ser rew mi list li ño rew mi du diko def yow mom amulo dara lo ragal In the next five years, I would like um, uh, a Gambia that is built on our democratic values, that is good governance, respect for the rule of law, respect for human rights, uh, a Gambia that will provide opportunities for young people, for women, for the elderly, and for the disabled, because these are all people. I, I am today physically able, but nobody knows when if ever in my life i'm going to be disabled so we have to be inclusive we have to remember we have to include everybody i'm looking at a gambia that will really have economic growth inclusive growth that will fight poverty that would uh, fight the child exclusion that would uh, reconcile the nation because right now we know that realistically we are all most of us are divided we have been divided for many years during the autocratic rule. It is important that we now have a Gambia that will bring us together, that will reconcile us, that will win our minds and hearts and focus on building the Gambia. I'm also looking at the Gambia that will really encourage private sector growth because private sector is the engine for growth. I'm looking at a country that would bring in more investors in the country because the public sector cannot provide all the jobs. You need to have a very strong Uh, private sector to accompany the public sector for inclusive growth and development. And of course, I'm looking also at the Gambia, where we would have, uh, instead of uh, exporting our our raw materials, that we have transformation. Uh, we have uh, light manufacturing industries to create jobs for everyone. I'm looking at the agricultural sector, where the farmers will be empowered uh, to move from rudimentary farming to mechanized farming. Uh, with using, of course, uh, emerging technologies. I'm looking at where women will be empowered, become enorm- uh, autonomous, and become leaders, political leaders, uh, traditional leaders, customary leaders, where, uh, where I'm looking also at where young people will be in- engaged in politics, in the, uh, in the journey to really transform or to rebuild or to strengthen their country, the, the, the democratic values of our country. I'm also looking at a, at a Gambia that uh, has a very functional health system, a social system, education, social welfare. I'm also looking at Gambia that would really um, have security for its people and for the sub-region. Because if we don't have security, it has ramifications, not only for Gambia, but also Uh, uh, this sub-region, region, and and uh, and Africa, and Africa. Let me say, as the world at large. So I'm looking at a Gambia that is really democratic, just, prosperous, inclusive, and also uh, that uh, an image that would definitely uh, represent what Gambia should be, and what our heritage has been, which is of course a Gambia that is highly respected, not because of our size, but because of the good image that we have. Our founding fathers, visionary founding fathers, had built for us, and uh, that we should continue. Yes, good evening. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, it is not because I was part of the government. I was part of Coalition 2016. 
that really engineered um, the democratic and peaceful change in concert with all Gambians. Because I usually say that this is a Gambia that was, uh, this is a fight that was uh, fought by every Gambian, by the majority of Gambians in, in the country and the diaspora, of course, including also our friends. Um, I, I would say that, as I said before, no system is perfect. Uh, this is, if you look at the enormous challenges that the, the government of Adam Abaro um, assumed, um, you will find that you comparatively, uh, some progress has been made. And I said that, as I am saying that, we didn't, there was no sufficient resources that could really make the government of Adam Abaro to just sit, assume power, and run with the Gambia. I have cited the issue of the first, uh, the just one month income cover that we found in the treasury. There was nothing in the treasury. So there was the necessity of going, planning strategically for the National Development Plan 2018-2021. Then uh, we mobil the resources were mobilized. And uh, today you see that things are moving. It cannot be 100%. 100%. And even where you have the resources, strategically, these, the, the achievements must be measured, not only by um, saying that we have a hospital here, we have a school there, but quality, in terms of quality. Today, you would say that in the next, uh, by next year, we're going to have the OIC, um, which is the uh, League of 57 Nations, Islamic uh, countries which is going to be hosted here. We're going to have court here. This is a big achievement, a big achievement. Then, as I said, the macroeconomic stability, 6% growth in the economy, if I'm right. Um, we have seen uh, the, the way we in poverty. The agricultural sector today is working towards the transformation of uh, through the value addition system. Um, you have also seen that education is growing in terms of decentralization. We are seeing more and more uh, the transformation of institutions. Uh, what we need is now, uh, what, we, uh, what, is, what is the challenge now for Adama Barrow's government is to ensure that we complete the, uh, we have security reform, for whichever government is going coming to take charge. It has to ensure that we have, have a efficient civil service. Um, as in the past, I can remember that in 10 years, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, people used to come from different countries on attachment here because of the quality of a civil service, uh, service, because of the capacity and the competence of the civil service. Civil service, economic reform, we also need to uh, consolidate our democracy. We also need to look at uh, the possibility of security, 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 security. We know what is what obtaining in the country today. We really need to do. There are there are still things um, that that needs to be done in terms of development. And I think that, as I say, uh, five years, five years for for government to achieve all those things that he has already achieved as a government. And mark you, not only Adam Abaro, there are partners who are also helping because the government doesn't have, we are yet to discover our mineral resources, exploit our mineral resources. So with the meager resources that we have, uh, we need to be happy to celebrate what we have achieved. Recently in the climate COP26 in Scotland, Gambia was named among the first countries this has really made a significant contribution to climate change. Uh, many, many nations. Today, if you count the number of emerging civil society organizations, 
youth organization and all the people working in the private sector, uh, we must say that we must celebrate and, and see and as Gambian together, we need to work together and ensure that we, we hold accountable whichever government comes into place so that whatever they promise, they will deliver. And it will be, of course, measured through different uh, processes, either through dialogue or through debates or this thing. The, the nutshell is that you must not be an audience. You must not be a spectator, but an actor in uh, the journey to bring the Gambia you want. Yes, good evening. Um, over the years, um, in the 80s, I was the second chairperson. Uh, after the first chairperson, I became the second chairperson of the National Women's Council. Uh, while I was also the United Nations Development Program, I worked for the, the UNDP for 14 years. Overall, I've worked with the UN for 22 years. I've worked in and out of government, and I have been also um, a founder of many organizations, including uh, the Gambia Women's Finance Association. The Gambia Women's Finance Association it comprises 49, over 49,000 women, uh, which, uh, to which over these we've been providing microfinancing. Right now, uh, we are going through reforms but uh, you also look at other organizations that are also supporting women and young and young people. Uh, these are all programs from the National Development Program. If you look at page 18 of the National Development Plan, you will find that specifically there is a section for the empowerment of women and young people uh, through entrepreneurship. And this is being operationalized in different uh, projects, projects from UNDP, UN system, uh, development partners and so forth. Uh, you also have uh, microeconomic, I mean, uh, you also have some micro credits for women. If you look at the real reliance, most people are now targeting. The fact that there is a policy framework to guide the implementation of this program is number one achievement. Number two achievement, if you look at the projects um, that are really promoting the empowerment of women and young people, that's also an achievement. If you look at also violence against women, there is a program violence against women. It is not working. Now women can have a voice to really call a number, a phone number. There are people who are working um, along those lines to ensure that they educate and enlighten women to fight against uh, violence against women. If you look at the agricultural sector, most of these guides are now being modernized. You, they have storage systems, they have marketing systems. Of course, not perfect, but there are things that are moving. And we can see also the quality of life of the women who matter, who are in the rural areas, uh, are improving. And the way you can measure that is that now women are educated. Most of the, the, the children, who, girls, who have been educated uh, are sponsored by their, their mothers. So I think that um, there is progress. Another question? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Many of the partners are not going to be able to do it. Wow. 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 Wow.
I'm a coalition. Coalition is a good political concept and framework. Ke nun chisung bopa dunda nengko. Da nungis na ne reumi since twenty since ninety four. Jem na nyo jema jema jem pur hair autocratic rule mununko. Binu deme binu am coalition. Bo ham ne deguna. Bo ham ne fatte na insen bir fatte na insen bopa. Nyo ser reumi Gambia first. Minga ham ne moi am moi li am solo. Ganya na ng te yala dimbale na nyo depi bo bu nyonge am jama aksala. Legi na coalition yinga ham ne nyonge nyonge am te bari. One na ne ne ni komase na ng di Commerce nain, the the appreciate, the funka coalition. Ne benna benna benna, dumu na dem. Legi wone na ne Gambia. Kuru kumu kubuga yoburemi, funga boka gnyenyi. The limo one moi anambuba for one ne benna ni muno dara. It takes a whole village to to really move a country. So gisnga ne fimne kani amna yenu coalition yohamne. Nyenyi danyo tahau kena. Nune nak ayat aku yusun dua he, fakih macam boleh. Nyalah ni, wow, dah nyuta hawrek, sunyuta hawel, sunyu kui kui ganyarek, he nyu 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 rafu. Lolo tamai amna, supaya kene dah nyu degu, amna nyu aham nyu dega 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 sunyu sihat esen buat pembuka haba, nyu dega la buka nang reumi buka lo nyu jis reumi. Wante chi chi dega nak, chi sarta, ay ni la nyu aham nyu sunyu ganyarut. Duny muna tog no nulen, dany dem dany dem lita dany duga koalisyon mo, dany muna duga swap pur dany duga muna japale reumi, wala dany duga pur muna degara sen 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 party. The different ideologies, different perspective. Wanti li gina am solo mo ne dem liyep demokrasi la, demokrasi la bunya kabi twenty two years amun dony li legi am neng kuneka. Kuna kati ya talere ni ata twenty six candidates musunyo amleje reumi lolo kia ana ana mbure fakla turbo baadhi ya Gambia the lima advice digital nyonyurek alliance yao elen na nyu degu nyu said Gambia first nyu banya said sen entere nyu said Gambia nyu said na kala nyu gena continue di di defar sunyo reu be reumi muna tahauti ana mbinga hamne Kudi Gambia re, dango na u, chini anambuneka, chini jamaa, chini salam, chini boko, chini 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 progress, advancement, akuilen. Well, you know that is a that is a a decision that he has taken and uh, it's a political decision that he has taken it is a difficult uh, uh, how do you call it it's a he must have he must have thought through through it it is the the constitutional right of everybody to alliance to go in alliance with anybody any party or any entity so it's a personal choice. It's a personal choice that he has, he has, he has made, and there is no way that you can, anybody can contest it, anybody can uh, be angry with it. This is democracy. Democracy is the opening, is the space that provides everybody to participate in any way and anyhow you want. Welcome. Want to use your statement, Mr. President? Yeah. Statement. I want to use it, Mr. President.
So, I'm going to go to the Gambia. So, I'm going to go to the Gambia. So, I'm going to go to the Gambia.